we got a request to create a letter logo using difficult characters or difficult letters like Q, P, and W. We were dwindling around and playing around with ideas. This was the first idea using shapes. We created this one and we created this other one using our shapes. And the last one was this one. And with all three, they are a little bit versatile and that's the trend right now. You need to be versatile. Use your white spaces and find imagery so you could have pictures along with your characters and with your letters. So you decide what you would like to create. And I'll show you one of these ones with the final version that we went calm and we decided with the final one that um, most businesses would go with. And we're going to create this one, go to photo P and change it to 3D. So join me. You're going to access www.canva.com and you're going to create a blank canvas. Sometimes you just need to be simple with your logo design and not complicate things, especially with difficult letters like Q, P and W, because if you were trying to have them integrate, it could look a little bit messy, like you've seen with this, especially this one. For me, it looks very messy, but it is an idea. And that's why I thought, let's go conventional, let's go calm and use text to be part of the logo. So we're gonna start with adding text to our canvas and then that text, we're going to change it to be our image and then add the company name and the slogan. So you're gonna add your text. You're going to create text that looks like an image. And that is the intro rust line shade. This font is beautiful because it looks like a font, but it looks like an image. And that's why I thought let's keep things simple and not complicate things because our letters are already complicated. You're gonna go Q, P and W. Size that, make it big so that this would be our image using text. Change the color of this one and we make red. not complicating things it's beautiful it's classic and it's done we're gonna go share and we're gonna download it as a 2g we're gonna jump into photo p convert it to a 3d and that's pretty much our logo we're gonna download it as a transparent background if you don't have transparent background you can go to my link below and try it for 30 days we're then going to access photo p we're going to go www.photop.com this is an open source free software that we use because we don't have adobe photoshop we're then going to click on pds templates and use the templates that are there you can use your own templates by accessing it via the open from computer and then you're going to access your mockup and we're going to use this mockup. You just click on the mockup and you click on the link to open it. Once it's open, you're going to double click where it says your logo here on the checkered box. And then you're going to hide the text. You're going to click and you drag your 2D design, place it on the canvas. So you're going to size it and then align it. And you're going to go file save a smart object and you're going to tick once where it says your logo once and then there you go your beautiful qpw logo is nicely created and ready to be downloaded you're going to export it as whatever file we want i'll go with png and you would reduce your width so that it doesn't pixelate so much and then you save it so that is how you create this simple but sophisticated looking logo for a 
very difficult letters that you don't want to mess with. Let's quickly jump back to our Canva and we create, and I'll show you one of those examples that I was in with the letters using the shapes so that TESO can have at least two ideas. So once you open your canvas, you're gonna go to your elements, you're gonna go to your lines and shapes, and you're gonna click on see all, and then you scroll down and you find this. Then you add a pill on your canvas and you align it, drag it to the size that you want, and then you add a square shape and you align that and reduce that. And there's your QPW logo. You could add your text, you could add your slogan. However, it is different, it is versatile, and it is uh, fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're gonna join me on the next one. I have a course that is dedicated to how to create logos on learnwithazard.com. I hope you join me there. I will see you on the next video.